What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, the Phoenix Suns minority owner came out yesterday and stated that he believes that the principal owner of the Phoenix Suns, Robert Sauver, should lose his franchise. He should be removed from the NBA. Phoenix Suns Vice Chairman, hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Jam Najafi, called yesterday for team owner Robert Sauver to resign, saying there should be, quote, zero tolerance, unquote, for lewd, misogynistic, and racist conduct in any workplace. Of course, Sauver was suspended for one year and fined $10 million by the NBA on Tuesday after a 10-month investigation showed the Suns owner had used racist language, made crude and sexually suggestive uh, comments to employees, and had bullying tendencies. Najani said in a statement, quote, I cannot in good judgment sit back and allow our children and future generations of fans to think that this behavior is tolerated because of wealth and privilege. Najafi wrote in a letter released through a public relations firm. Therefore, in accordance with my commitment to helping eradicate any form of racism, sexism, and bias, as vice chairman of the Phoenix Suns, I am calling for the resignation of Robert Sauber. Najafi has been critical of Sauber throughout this saga, which broke when ESPN released a story in November detailing widespread claims of wrongdoing by Sauber. That reporting prompted the NBA to commission an investigation. Najafi is one of three vice chairmen for the Suns, with several other minority investors also part of the ownership group. So this is significant. He is not a player, not just a, a even a significant player, but he is, although a minority owner, he's still a person who has influence within great influence within the Phoenix Suns organization. So you take his statement, Chris Paul's statement, which doesn't go as far as LeBron James, um, perhaps there will be more pressure put upon the NBA to remove Robert Sauber. I mean, there needs to be some type of, uh, you know, some type of uh, domino effect here to create that atmosphere for Robert Sauber to be removed. It's not going to, the players are not going to be enough to me in, in this situation. Um, unfortunately, the NBA seems tepid in trying to get rid of this guy. So it's going to take more than just the players. It's going to take past players. It's going to take the media. It's going to take perhaps some people within the ownership realm to speak up and have uh, put pressure on the NBA to remove Robert Sauber. But I'm glad that this guy spoke out about it, you know, especially considering he's part of the franchise that Robert Sauber is now banned from. Um, I think one of the best things that can happen to Phoenix is if uh, in Robert Sauber's quote-unquote absence that they have another great year. Um, if they have another great year, and that, uh, you know, that I guess they can show that, you know, they can succeed without him. Um, one of the things that's helping Robert Sauber is that over the last couple of years, the Phoenix Suns have gotten their shit together. So, you know, that unfortunately, I think is, is helping Robert Sauber. See, with Sterling... Not only was he a racist piece of shit, but the franchise was pretty much a train wreck. So we got to wait and see. But tell me what you guys think.